right, this is me, Mark Ash, and that's me, Mark Ash, in the ring. Yes, I got to do commentary on one of my own matches. I'm sitting here with Curtis Bynum as I'm about to take on Mr. Independence Lee Best. Curtis, what do you know about Mr. Independence Lee Best? I mean, obviously, this is taking place after the fact. I can tell you what I learned about him in the ring, but what can you tell me about him other than the fact that he's from Pennsylvania coming in? Well, I'm born and raised in Pennsylvania. It's a great state to be from, of course, and it's all American state, so what can I say? I mean, home of Hershey, Pennsylvania. Well, you got Mr. I uh, Want to Be All American here, Lee Best, and of course, this was taking place on an Atlantic Coast Championship Wrestling card. We were fortunate enough to get access to this tape from them, uh, but uh, crowd response here is a little mixed. You know, they, they like me, but they like him as well. They like him because he's American. He supports America. You support the other people. How do, you, how do you say I don't support America? I'm the six foot, hot look, all American man, and I'm very popular in my own right. Right, but he's dressed like an American athlete would be. You're dressed like a Highlander. But, uh, Mr. Independence Lee Best, as this, this matter of fact, this was taped in Wilmington, North Carolina at the National Guard Armory. One of the great spots, of course, to see wrestling all the time. If you ever get a chance, go check it out. Exactly, one of the great spot, hot spots of uh, North Carolina, right there on the coastline. And now I've got a couple fans trying to heckle me, but you know that's that's I'm the one that that'll back down. If you don't like me, I don't like you. I don't I don't make two bones about it. Well, you have your own attitude about you. I mean, you are what you are. The six foot six all American. Girl, it's just the six foot hot look all American man. I don't know where you get six foot six because I'm actually six one. Well, I think you shrunk, that's why I remember right, if I'm not correctly. And one thing uh, Lee Best sure didn't learn was you never turn your back on a veteran. No, that is definitely true about that, Mark. You have definitely taught people to never turn it back on you ever again. Because they've always paid for it in the past. Right here, we go to a camel clutch uh, version here. I just, I figure I'm going to wear this big guy down. Looks like about to break his neck. Hard elbow to the top of the top of his head, you know. I, this guy's he's, he's got a, he's he's big, he's built, and probably good cardiovascular. So I got to take him down quick, cause I don't know this guy. He, he'd probably go all night if you let him. So what's his background as far as being arrested in Pennsylvania? What do we know about this guy? This is my first time as he catches me with a Japanese arm drag. This is my first bit of experience with Lee Best. See, I'm totally going into this blind. I know nothing about the man. Nice little kick out there, by the way, by you. Are you ready for this match, by the way, or are you just preparing for it as we go? Well, like I said, I'm ready for a match, but when you're wrestling someone you know absolutely nothing about, I mean, how, just how prepared can you truly be? Very true. That's a little knee in a crotch there. Though. That was a nice No, hit. that was the inside of the thigh, Curtis. I don't cheat. Right there, a hard knee to the back of his, his upper back there. Yeah, I bet he'll feel that tomorrow. Looks like get a few fa fan favorites for the crowd there, Mark. Well, I've been seeing a lot of cheers in the various towns I'm going to lately, Curtis. Of course, part of it's the fact that I'm battling the people they hate. Is it true, though, you have a DVD coming out soon? ICW Pro Wrestling has a DVD. Mean Mark Ash has a DVD. And if you're living in the Wilmington, North Carolina area, they're both available at Yellow Dog Discs, as well as on eBay and off the ICW website at StarProWrestling.com. Good camera work tonight. The cameraman gets right in the ring with us. Looks like him up for a suplex right here. Nice snap suplex. Very impressive. Looks like you hurt your hand on that one, did you, or did you not? No, I didn't hurt my hand. Uh, I'm just upset the referee, Matt Timlin, can't make a three count. What do you know about the referee? I mean, what's his, how good is he? Oh, he flipped a little toss. I'll tell you, Matt Timlin, he should know better than to mess with me. I'm the person who got him involved in the professional wrestling. I'm the person that broke him in, gave him his first referee shot back in 1998. I cannot believe you took that new hit in. What were you thinking? You gotta understand, if I hit the referee, I automatically lose the match. Good point. I never stopped you, though. Well, that referee looks really out of shape. And 
now he's going to use you for a oh, reverse net breaker. Very, breaker. very nice. But see, look, pay attention to what Lee Best is doing. You can tell he's still fairly new. Instead of following up on the move, he's taking too much time. Yeah, he's, he's going showboating. To he's showboating and he's taking too much time. Yeah, he wants to get the crowd involved more than the match he does. Well, we all like a loud crowd. They're not going to win the matches for you. Neither will the referee was not paying attention. Because you see what happened. When he should have been following up, he wasn't. And look what's going on. Mean Mark Ash is back on the top. You usually are on top, aren't you? There you go. Wake up. Wake up, Lee. Oh, now that is going to leave a mark for you, folks. And I'll tell you one thing, fans. When Mark hits you, by the way, you will definitely feel it for weeks to come. Nice sunset flip. And we're to count one and two. And Mark kicks out, of course. Beautiful job. You had a busy night that night, didn't you, Mark? Very busy match. Now there, I'm already having words with the referee again because he was counting really fast when my shoulders were on the mat, I noticed. Yeah, I think he's got something against you, if you ask me. That should have been a three count. This referee is totally out of shape, dude. What's his problem? He made donuts? I think he's on a seafood diet. When he sees food, he eats it. <laughs> So I'm, I'm arguing with the guy. I don't think he can think. I don't think he can count his feet twice and get the same number here. And he's trying to prove to me that I'm wrong. And well, he failed the test. But what it ended up doing is he distracted me so that I didn't follow my own advice and gave Lee Best too much time to recover. So it's me, the referee, and hooked on phonics. There, fast count. Yep, definitely. gonna try a little punch himself. Looks like he hurt his hand there, Mark. Uh-oh, here we go. He's gonna go down here. See, he's showboating though. That's just the problem. If he gets some good shots, he should follow up on him if he expects to beat me, Mark Ash, with it. And then what happens? Reverse, and he takes you down. Now you have him down right there. Why aren't you jumping on him? Uh-oh. You're working the leg. That's right. You're not going to see me give him a lot of time to recover. Now you always go for a certain part of the body, am I right? Exactly, because you got to realize, you got two arms, two legs. You look at a kitchen table, it has four legs, of course. So you got to realize, you get on, they go on their hands and knees, they're on that base. You saw one of those table legs off, it falls down. It can't, it can't support itself. Same with the human being. If I take a leg or an arm away from you, you can't fight as well as you could before I took that thing away from you. Looks like trying to get a figure four and he just skipped you out of the ring. Yeah, he's showboat. He should, be, he should be right on you right now. He's not doing a very good job. But you can tell he's got an amateur background to him, I'm afraid. Oh, nice kick with the chair. But I don't think he got the outcome. He didn't get the outcome of that he wanted, and the mean one is back in the ring. Well, she caught me coming in the ring, but... Oh, he's trying to chop himself now. That's impressive. Well, that was a hard chop he got across my chest. It looked like he set me up for a Samoan drop, but out goes the referee. Oh. And here he goes, not concentrating the man, concentrating the referee. Now, they, a lot of people try to say I put something on my head out of my knee pad, but... Yeah, it looks like you pull a chain. You no, know, I was adjusting my knee pad, and then, then when I, after I, I noticed after I hit him, it still wasn't right, so I had to readjust it. And I get the three count. You see, the crowd's happy with it. Yeah, well, the referee didn't see it, so I can complain. The referee didn't see what? I just knocked him out with my right hand, and that was it. All right, guys, we've seen another Mean Mark Ash victory. That's it for now. We'll catch you come back a little bit on ICW Pro Wrestling.